Today, I'm gonna to be setting up a flower horn tank. How big? 75 gallons. Had to get the gingerbread twins involved because I can't get stuff done on my own. They built the stand, they painted the stand, we installed it. Let me just tell you, these two gingerbread cookies are seriously the most helpful human beings on this planet. They just know how to get stuff done. So we're at Ming Trading here in Chicago um, and we're here to pick out a light and a bubbler for the tank. Yo, what's up? What's up? You guys got some lights? Yeah, I got lights. We also need a canister filter for the tank. This is our direct competitor with the FX6. It has more water volume, it moves more water, it's got a UV built into it, and it's DC. Will this be good for a 75 gallon tank? Yeah, it'll be a little overkill for a 75. But oh, okay. The more flow, the better. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. All right, we got our shopping cart, we got our canister filter. What else do we need for the tank? Uh, we need an air pump. And a light. And a light. Like a light. We've got the little two output, which would probably be more than what you need. We don't really need anything too fancy. What do you guys think? The blue and white yep. LED. That's the marine spectrum. And that one's all controlled by the Zet Life Horizon app too. Oh, you can control this with an app? Yep. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so then here's the lid. All right, this is the lid because they jump and yeah. they like to bomb yeah. for their Don't food. want them to jump in that tank, you know? So we got the lid too. So basically, we're all, I think we're all set. Where do I go to check out? <laughs> that way. Again, we were here at Ming Trading. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll put the link in the description below. <laughs> All right, so basically for this tank, we got the uh, brand new HW5000 from Sunsun. All right guys, so the tank is pretty much set up. Because we use tap water, we need to put some dechlorinator in there. So I'm using Complete by Fritz Aquatics. It's basically gonna dechlorinate and then detoxify a nitrite and nitrate. We need to cycle the tank, of course, and to do that, we're gonna be using Freshwater Turbo Start. It's basically bottled bacteria. So this is gonna help cycle the aquarium. This is gonna start the nitrogen cycle, and also because this tank is completely empty, no substrate, no rock work, I had to put some marine pure block into the canister filter so that the bacteria has a place to colonize. We got the Zet Light uh, ZP4000. So now we're gonna also install an aerator. This is to keep oxygen flowing throughout the tank. It's really good for these big fish. Three days later. How's it going, dude? Got donuts. What? Yes. Let's go. Why are you the best, man? What are you guys doing today? So, good question, Joe. We came and we picked up Joe because what's one of your favorite fish? Flowers. Today we're getting a flower horn for me. I knew it. <laughs> so we're going to a breeder who lives in Chicago. You're gonna see the craziest flower horns ever today. Look at this guy. He's like smiling. <laughs> oh, I don't know you guys. <laughs> what kind of music do you like, Joe? Country. Country boy, I love you. <laughs> Joe's got that clout now that he's in uh, Coral Fish 12G videos. You're really gonna give me detention? Do you know who I am? <laughs> West Virginia. Alright guys, we're here. It's a flower horn breeder here in Chicago. Alright, where is his house? I don't know, we're just walking in the street. Why don't you pull out your phone and call the guy? Yeah, Jay. Alright, nice to meet you, nice dude. Nice to meet you too. Hi guys, my name is Jay, and this is Jay Full Flower Horns. So all you do is flower horns. All right, Joe, what do you think? It's nice. <laughs> nice <right? laughs> now we have different varieties. Red dragon is what they call Super red dragon. This one is a short body one. This is called a golden base. Golden base. Is uh, this a baby or what? It, like? It's a juvenile. Okay. And it can grow up like a 12 inch. What is the actual reasoning it grows its head like that? It's mostly, you can see it on a male. And I think it's from the crossbreeding from the, the cichlids from before. Is it to like be aggressive to like to show the dominance? The dominance. This is a red. Kongfa, they have white eye compared to the red dragons. They have straight tail in here and square body. This one, the Kongfa. Yeah, this one is like six hundred dollars. This this fish right here is six hundred bucks. Six hundred dollars? Oh my gosh! What's interesting about flower horn keeping is they will interact to you. Look at it here. Oh wow! Oh that one is a beast. At some point, when it gets to that size, mm -hmm. is it dangerous? Is it bad for the fish? Like. 
that's not a bad great fish. They can balance it out. How big will the far horns get? Red dragon can reach up to uh, 12 inches. This is a female right here. Yeah, the females are very different looking. Different looking, yeah. Look at all these flower horns. Look at all those chickens. The super red monkey category. That is crazy. Why do they call it a super red monkey? Because they're all red and uh, the body of the kampa. For those of you that don't know, these flower horns are such popular fish that they actually hold competitions yep, they do. for them. We have a flower horn competition at Aquashella, September 28th 29th. and 29th. Yeah, it's coming up and like, and you're entering. Yep, I'm entering. All right, man, and, good good yeah. luck, dude. Thank yeah, you, thank clearly you. you have a track record of winning a few. <laughs> You've won first place before, mm -hmm. so you're the real deal. The best cock, right there. Okay guys, so if you're wondering what a cock is, it's not what you think. Do you see the hump on its head? That's another word for like the frugal hump. Walk up to the club like what up, I got a big cock. We're gonna see which flower horn I should take home. This is how I know it's real. Oh wow. Stay. Stay. Finn. Finn. Give me some Finn. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> I'm gonna keep those nitrates low. George out. No dude, the video is not over yet. <laughs> Yeah, into the glass. <laughs> Look at the food. Okay. Oh, he can't even reach it though. I think he needs this head. Is it bad when they knock their heads into the wall like that? Make sure you have no decorations in it. Do they have sharp teeth? Yes, they do. Jay's letting me pick out one flower horn to take home for free. I kind of like this guy. He's the biggest one here. This guy's going to be an awesome addition. Splash on. Hello. All right, Jay. Dude, so incredibly right. generous of you. Thank you. This looks just like me. Hey, look at you, dad. That's why we named it J4. Oh. Jay, Johan, Jenna, and my wife, uh, Joanne. And that's where you got the name J4, J4. Flower Horn. That's awesome. There you go. Alright guys, I'm kind of stupid. Uh, I decided to pass up on the prettiest one. I just got the flower horn with the biggest head. Jay, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you very much. Dude, we'll see you at Aquashella. Do you ship your flower horns? I ship all over USA, including Hawaii. So if you're interested in getting a flower horn, hit Jay up. I'll put his info in the description below. Remember to keep those nitrates. No, we're not doing the We're not done, we're not done. The video's not over. We're here, back in the tank. What do you think, man? 75 gallons. It's lit. It's huge, yeah. You wanna do the honors? Yep. You know what time it is? Yeah. Acclamation. 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 Acclimation. All right, so we've uh, finished acclimating the fish, and now we're ready to put them in. Yep. Ready? Here we go. Oh, he's a beast, <laughs> dude. He's massive. <laughs> Remember to keep your nitrates low. <laughs> Yo, out. The video is not over! You have tried to end this video four different times! We have two name ideas for our new flower horn. I'm thinking Thanos, just because we have a couple other Avenger characters in my aquarium collection. We got Hulk, which is my mantis shrimp. Then we also have Scarlett Johansson, one of my clownfish. You and me. The second option is... What's the second option? Why would I know? All right, so I guess there isn't a second option. Never mind. So it's gonna be Thanos. Um, I just decided right now. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Surrender all hope. Your ruler has arrived. All right, guys, let me know what you think of my new monster flower horn, Thanos. Um, honestly, I love him. I already love him. He's awesome. Make sure to like this video down below, and make sure to check out Aquashella and J4 flower horns. So, guys, I hope I'll see you at Aquashella. I sure will be there. But until then, guys, remember to keep those nitrates low. George. Okay. <laughs>
Aha. Dear Miss Lilac, that 